If you've been in Nashville lately, can you guess where I am? I love it when people can guess where I am because of the murals on the wall. So this is actually a new one. And we're in our old stomping grounds, the Gulch. Kyle and I are out and about today. And I just on a whim, um, I just went to the Kittenish opening and I'm a huge um, supporter of local businesses and love Jesse and Kristen. Uh, and they just opened new stores. So Jesse James Decker opened Kittenish, Kristen Cavallari opened um, Uncommon James and they're both in the Gulch. So these are new. They came after we left um, the Gulch. So I thought today maybe I would take you into those shops in case you don't live in Nashville and you want to see the insides of these stores or um, in case you're visiting Nashville just to show you how awesome both these stores are. Yeah. Girl, please talk about that oh. lemon shirt because you know everybody's going to be asking. <laughs> this is old. Look this is a red that. shirt. It's like size large. I got it when I was pregnant last time and I was like, I got to pull this dang thing out. It's my elevated version of all black because God knows all I want to wear is all black every day. All right, first up is Uncommon James. So I'm really excited to show you guys inside of this because Kristen is everything lifestyle, obviously. Um, if you guys read her her cookbooks and she just, um, she's just fantastic with parenting and I'm both of these girls. And um, they have everything from kids stuff in here to cookbooks, to clothing, to of course the more famous things that you guys probably know them for, the jewelry. So I just kind of want to show you because there's a huge variety and it's super fun. Also, April Tomlin that's doing my house um, designed the space. Pretty sure. Look at this kid stuff. I die. What is this brand? Little James. Oh my gosh, so she has her own little kids line it looks like. So precious. They have a ton of kids stuff. I actually didn't realize this. How much kids stuff they actually have. Swaddles and like little bombers. Look, little James, that's what it's called. Super cute like basics. I didn't even realize she had a kids line. Oh, I definitely know which wing you are. <laughs> the devil wing. <laughs> you should definitely take an Instagram picture on the wings. That would be so funny. It's a cool store. Yeah, I, I like love it when the they have gold, the murals. Uh, yeah, and I love all the stuff for Ford. I know. You know April designed this, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I really love a good mural. So this is the mural in Uncommon James that I just showed you Kyle standing in front of. It's the devil wing and the angel wing, I think. It probably means something else, but that's my interpretation of it. Looks like this is her new spring collection. So I just love her pieces because they feel unique. They're super dainty. I love all these chains, these simple chains. I love the chains with the balls on them. I love these rings, especially for your pointer finger. Such a cute little necklace. These hoops. Just love it. And then she just has all these little candles and a bunch of cute little books. I mean, you could really come in here and get anything gift wise. Um, or like if you're shopping for your girlfriend or your wife or your mom, you can kind of find something for everyone here, I feel like. She's got some more bath stuff. I actually really love that brand. A lot of this stuff here, it looks like it's her brand, but. Palo Santos. Oh. Beard oil, if I had my beard. My phone's ringing. I love this, 52 lists for happiness. I really love these. I love how you can layer a lot of her pieces. So these could not be any cuter. Little tiny dainty, like faux jewels. And you guys know I love this cookbook. I've cooked several things from this cookbook. It's one of my favorites actually. It's just cute little corners that like you can take pictures in. So cute. Okay, and there are tons of cooking utensils too. So they have the um, cookbooks and then they have like bar utensils, cooking utensils. Um, super cute home stuff that's like neutral and pretty. So cute. I uh, love this little salad bowl. That is super cute. Stationary. 
And then lastly, on this back wall, they have more of the jewelry. She really has a lot of designs in here. A lot of times I feel like you go into a jewelry store and they hardly have anything. But she has like a million different pieces. I love that. Oh, I really love this. I think I might get this. I wonder if this is plated. I made some purchases myself for Ford and for um, Julian. And then I love the um, cookbook so much that I bought one for Alex. So yeah. That's thanks. So next door to um, Uncommon James is where Worth, who's on the show also, he's opened oh, up a gym. Worth. And we walked in there because we were going to see like what is the monthly membership and the classes and stuff. And I'm walking in with like three Uncommon James bags and a camera in my hand. So I know they probably thought I was some wacko super fan that was like, hey guys, going to see the inside of Worth, <laughs> Worth's gym. <laughs> Kyle always accidentally calls him Wrath, but it's Worth. <laughs> <laughs> I get my words confused. Yeah, he does. All kinds of new little restaurants here in the Gulch, too. There's Peg Leg Porker. Here's a burger place. And Peg then there is a um, pizza place right by Uncommon James. When I used to live here, I used to frequent Peg Leg Porker about three times a week. He was a Peg Leg Loved Porker. It. We both were. His old stomping grounds. Look at him being all nostalgic. Uh, now we yeah. have a peg leg porker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am now outside of Kittenish. So this one is right smack dab in the middle of the gulch. It's brand new. It just opened this week. If you guys were seeing my Instagram stories recently, I was at the opening. It was so cool. Um, I couldn't be prouder of Jess. I mean, like Jesse, just Jesse and Kristen both. They just rule the world with everything. So I was not surprised when they opened stores. But it's really, really cool. So. This is literally right smack dab in the middle of the gulch. My parents have a condo in the Icon. My little sister used to live in the Icon. Kyle used to live over there in Mercury View. Um, we just love the gulch. It's really like hip and urban. I'm just gonna take you inside. Kittenish has a lot more um, clothing options and um, super cute stuff. So I got to see a lot of this stuff whenever I was at the event, but I just wanna kinda show you guys the inside of this store. It's super cute. They also have a really cute mural. And I'll show you too. So cute. So many cute pieces. Super affordable. Cute little gifts. Like panties. Swimsuits. Love the shoes. And they also have Jesse's book and CD too. So I love it that they sell those things. So I love this too because this looks like the mural. See that's $60. This is $100 for this really great quality, like mustard colored coat. Kyle has found a little place that he has posted up. Athleisure, super cute stuff. And I think it's all kittenish. Yeah, pretty sure it's all kittenish. I like and it's that. really cute, like they have little hats and accessories that are really affordable too. I like too. that, with the chevron. And I like, uh, I think chevron is going to be in. Oh, okay. maybe next winter, and I like Chevron the, has always been in. Exactly, <laughs> and I and I like the paint splatter sweatshirt. Okay, and a lot of bodycon dresses. Like, how cute is this dress? And they have a lot of like kittenish merch. These really cute silk bandanas, and a lot of like just really um, great priced pieces. If you just want to come in here and get a little gift or a souvenir, if you came to Nashville, uh, they had a pink one of this, and it's gone now. I should have gotten it. And then I just want to show you because I love uh, when they do murals on the wall. So this one's really cute. If you guys saw whenever I came to the event, I took uh, my picture in front of this one. But super cute. It says Nashville Stone Heart, and you can hold on to the balloon strings. So as Mal said, I used to live here. And Doug and I would walk these Gulch streets every night and every day. And the thing about the Gulch, one of my favorite parts, is it's so vibrant. They've got all these cool restaurants yeah. now. And you know, you can go eat somewhere fancy or you can go to a little barbecue joint. Uh, Peg the Leg. Bar Louie, the pub. Yeah, I, I went to Bar Louie and ate many of uh, chicken fajitas. But um, so cool. I kind of, I feel like this is my favorite place we've lived like just to get out and about. So it's hard to yeah. beat the Gulch here in Nashville. No more roaming these, cruising these streets at night though. <laughs> Cause we decided to start having children, <laughs> yeah. but we would trade it. That little angel, he really likes to walk out and about. We should honestly bring him here more often and push him around. But also a lot of people ask us where to stay. 
stay. When I come to Nashville, I mean, this is a pricier hotel for sure, but um, it's, it's called, called the Thompson. Thompson. Um, and if you want to do like a little splurge weekend, it is pretty gorgeous and it's really cool. There's also a Fry, a Parish, which is a local store, which is super cute. Um, there's an Urban Outfitters, there's an E. Allen, there's a lot of other boutiques here, but I just wanted to show you those too because they're new and they're fun and people said they want to see the inside. Funny story, uh, I was with Doug in my truck and we rode by <laughs> where I used to live. This is where I used to live, kind of right, you can see it right through there. Um, I was there towards the top in my cool little place uh, overlooking the gulch and when Doug and when I was in the uh, truck, Doug and I rode past it, and he looked right up to where I used to live, and his little tail started wagging. <laughs> so that was really funny. Yeah.